Hi, and welcome to the April energy update for 2021. I can't believe it's already April. Uh, I can't even discern days from each other. These I don't know what it is with time lately. I don't know if you're noticing that for yourself, but I have to keep reminding myself, what day is it today? <laughs> I don't know. I can't retain the number of the day. I can't remember the day of the day without looking and, or having to calculate it. It's kind of like uh, something, just something strange going on with time. So I want to see what anybody else feels about that. But I'm about to do the energy update. I already chose some cards, okay, from a brand new deck, okay? Now, this deck here, I'll show it to you. Uh, I, I literally have only flipped one or two cards from this since I got it. Oh, that's not the cover. Hold on, this is the cover. Cosmic Contact, okay? Um, cool, Cosmic Contact. Anyway, that's the deck. Let's see, created by Gabe Solomon and Sharam uh, Akhaven. Anyway, it's a, it's a deck based on alien encounter experience of definitely Gabe Solomon, because I've seen some of the things that he puts out there. I don't really know this other person. But anyway, this is what we're working with. And uh, so before I didn't read them, I already got the cards out because it's a weird kind of a deck. You get these cards that have meanings on them and there's only so many cards that explain all of these. It, anyway, I had to learn how to use it and I've never done a three card reading yet <laughs> with it. But I'm going for it today because you know what? I feel like we're really on the verge of so much disclosure on so many levels and uh, life outside of the, the, the earth as we know it, I believe is gonna be part of that. So I thought, okay, why not let's use this alien deck and see what happens. But before I go into these cards and I've, I've seen the names of them, so I don't really know how they're gonna tie in and maybe they won't tie in at all, you never know. Um, I do feel like we're like kind of like on the precipice of major changes or in, in fact, maybe the changes are gonna take a little while to roll out, but I believe we're about to find out truths that we never imagined because it's been either covered up or we've been fed a whole bunch of crap <laughs> most of our lives and believing things are a certain way when they're not. See, that's the whole thing about the awakening and breaking out of that, the matrix and and coming into seeing the whole world in a whole different way, not based on what people have been telling you, but based on more what you know and feel as to be truth within you. So when you get really connected to that truth within you, and then you hear this different bits of information out there, or you do some research on things, you can feel for yourself, does this resonate as true? And I think that's what the big change is. More and more people are feeling and sensing into truth than ever before. Okay, I'll leave it at that. That's the introduction for this video. And uh, we're gonna start reading these cards. Okay, so you ready? Anyway, for those who don't know me, my name is Linda Armstrong. I'm a spiritual awakening coach and energy healer. And uh, everything I do is all about living from this energy of love. So my website is lovemylife.coach, you know, because that's what we are. We are love. Uh, we are all connected to each other. There really is no separation, only the separation you've been told to believe. But we don't come here believing any of that. We learn it. So, and you know that by watching little kids. Little kids don't discriminate against each other. Doesn't matter what religion, what race, uh, one's tall, one's short, one's fat, one's skinny, it doesn't matter. Kids just want to play and have fun and share in the love and joy that life offers them, right? And so we could really take a, a, take a lot of our lessons from that, how we come into this world. Because the rest of the other stuff that's all layered on us and thrown up on us is just somebody else's agenda, right? It has nothing really to do with you, unless you allow it to be. All right, so no preaching on that stuff. Let's get to the cards. So this first card, it says reality overlay. Reality overlay. Okay. Well, let's see what that wants to tell us. And these descriptions are very short. So we can 
look into each of them and see what more wants to come. But anyway, it says your past is overlapping with your present reality. Yeah, well, that ties into what I'm, I've just been saying. Uh, lessons from the past present themselves once again to integrate at a deeper level. Rather than seeing this as a sign that you didn't get it right the first time, treat these lessons as an invitation to bring greater awareness to the challenges you face. Upon integrating these lessons, you'll experience a profound sense of love and acceptance both for yourself and for humanity. Wow. Okay. So I feel that ties right into that because it is your, your past overlapping with your present reality. So I would take the present reality as those of us who are awakening and coming into knowing truth on a whole different level and connecting more to like, you know, expanding our awareness and our consciousness to connect into more of the energies. Like, I don't know if you could feel it, but I feel like the energy on the planet is actually getting lighter because a lot of the evil, the darker energies are just being eradicated. I feel it. I'm looking forward to getting some um, confirmation on that over these next days days, weeks. I don't think it's going to be that much longer before we really start getting some real disclosure out there. But anyway, that's the way I'm taking this, but it, I'm going to read it again because maybe it hits somebody else a different way. Uh, your past is overlapping with your present reality. Lessons from the past present themselves once again to integrate at a deeper level. Okay. That could also have to do with as we're releasing these lower energies from our own field, let alone not the, I mean, everybody's, the more of us who are doing this, the lighter the whole planet gets too, right? So right now, as you're awakening, a lot of old stuff is coming up to the surface, right? That's why we go through these highs and lows and we have all these other weird experience. It's all energy. And some of that energy now, it no longer serves you, right? So we're releasing it. So the way I'm looking at that too is um, you can integrate it at a deeper level, like really see it for its truth. Everything's about truth right now. You know, that version of me who did that all those years ago or had something done to me all those years ago, deep within me, is that my truth? And the thing is, it's almost always going to be a no because you've evolved into something else because you're expanding out beyond that and getting to know that your real truth is that you are love and you are this high vibrational being who, when you allow yourself to be that high vibrational being, you tap into so many um, possibilities where things you thought were impossible become possible. Where you think of something that you want and somehow it shows up. You're not thinking about how it comes, but it's just I had a thought, something, boop, and then boom, it shows up. I've had a, so much of that happening lately. And it's fun. So when you notice that and you acknowledge it and then you're grateful for it, it just lifts your vibration up even more. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I get as I, as, I get as I read through the card. So it says, rather than seeing this as a sign that you didn't get it right the first time, treat these lessons as an invitation to bring in greater awareness to the challenges you face. All right, so basically a lot of what I was just saying. So then it says, upon integrating these lessons, you'll experience a profound sense of love and acceptance, both for yourself and humanity. Yep. As you, as you release all of that and you return back to yourself and you know yourself as the love that you are, and when you know yourself as the love that you are, you know that anything is possible because, because you exist and because you are a creator and that really there's nothing stopping you but you but you allowing those outside voices to squash you and influence you away from your truth. Yeah. Okay, so let that one soak in. <laughs> All right, let's do this next card. So this next card says, sensual awakening. I'm really curious to see what this one's going to say. Sensual awakening. Okay. And just so it turns out, the next card is silence the mind. So they're both on the same thing. So let's see, sensual awakening is, oh no, I got the wrong card. So, okay, we'll have to look for that card in a minute. So sensual awakening, let's read that one. Uh, silence the mind, maybe it's on this one. No, it's not, I thought one of them had two. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you're still with me, thank you. I know I'm like going off a little bit here. Okay, so sensual awakening, it says, discover the ecstasy of your sacred sexuality. This card invites you to ride the waves of bliss 
into the highest vibrations heaven has to offer. Even though sexuality and sensuality are energetic qualities that are most often associated with the physical act of sex, sexual energy encompasses much more than that. Our sexuality is representat representation of the universe's original desire to release itself through the experience that it creates. You may think of a sexual climax as a microcosm version of the very spark that brought all of creation into being. To become in touch with our sacred sensual energy, we must return to the original desire of experiencing pleasure through the senses. All senses. Well, this is saying our senses, uh, I'll continue, which are often taken for granted, are the gateway into the highest states of elation. As you appreciate the simple pleasures of your senses, you'll begin to reunite with your inherent sexual nature. Mastering your sexuality is crucial for having greater command of your emotional and creative energies and will lead to a renewed sense of confidence and overall well-being. Okay, that's interesting because um, this is beyond physical sexual activity. This is m maybe more of the sensual um, because as you raise your vibration and you have new experience because you're re rediscovering yourself and also you're kind of rediscovering, like I have a, a client who could be out in nature and and since she's been having this awakening she sees like the minute little details of everything and she could just be sitting out there looking at a, a tree i forget what her experience was exactly and she said suddenly came over her whole body was is this elation this feeling of love that was so intense she said it was like an orgasm but it wasn't an orgasm it was even more intense than that okay that was through just this sensual experience of being her true nature. Like she expanded so much into what our truth is, which is just this pure joy and bliss. I mean, I know I had that experience in a, in a dream one time when this desire I had to see a cardinal came in my dream. And I remember the joy I felt was like a full body experience that I can never explain. I have never felt that again either. I only felt that intensity of it in that one dream as I was looking at this little cardinal behind the bush. Imagine that. But that dream, because it was desire, I, I was playing with the universe, right? Okay, universe, show me. Blah. Like if I have the power to create through my thoughts, then this will show up. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that story. I've talked about it many times on other videos. Um, but that experience of seeing just seeing the bird in the dream gave me that sense so probably a lot of you have had that in some way shape or form didn't even know what it was but it was like oh my god this you know it's like pure bliss so i don't know how anyone else else wants to take this card um but I think it is really as we awaken and expand more into our true nature, the consciousness, the energy that we are and that we have, that we are connected to, right? Because it's not just us. When we expand into the fullness of what we might call us, it's not just us because it includes everything. And I think that's when you have that really amazing physical feeling come over the body that you reside in because of just the joy of whatever that experience is, whether it's, um, you know, maybe, maybe the way we know that the easiest is through the physical body, through the sexual, through the experience of sex. But what I've come to understand, and even with other people I worked with, they can have that sensation, but so much stronger without the sexual experience. It's with an experience. Like she was looking at the trees, whatever it was. I saw a bird, you know. Uh, you know, it could be anything. <laughs> okay, I got to find this one. Silence the mind. So, I mean, this this book, it gives you like these index cards where you can find, and it gives you a number. Silence the mind at card number 32, and it's a blue card. Sensual awakening. 
silence the mind. Oh, this is interesting because it says 32, but 32 is sensual awakening. So maybe we go to 33 and see if 33 is the card. Maybe there's a problem with this deck's numbers. Silence the mind. We're looking for silence the mind. Where's, here it is. Silence the mind. Let's see what number it is. 33. So he's off by a number. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So silence the mind. Let's see what this says. Okay, I didn't show you the card. I don't know. It's a, to me, it's a little creepy. Okay. Silence the mind. All right. I'm sure it's not intended to be creepy, but that's how it feels to me. All right, so it says, quiet your mind and listen to your heart. The truth lies in the space between the thoughts. The space between the thoughts is like the nothingness. Nothingness. No thingness. You're just there. Um, this card encourages you to spend time cultivating a state of stillness. The key to this practice is to focus on breathing deeply ensuring your breath fills both your belly and your lungs. As you do this, you'll begin to rebalance your brain waves, allowing the overstimulation of the mind to subside, right? That's all that outside influence, right? All that, who knows, what's on the TV, what's on the radio, what's in the group of people you just went by, like all this outside stimulus, traffic going by, right? It's all outside noise. Um, doing this for a few moments will be more than enough to assist you in maintaining emotional equilibrium. And, you know, it's in those quiet times in between, like um, like that one client I was talking about, when she was just being in nature and just looking at the trees and had this whole experience. She wasn't thinking about anything. She was just being. She was just there. And that's when she had this experience. And uh, for, for this particular person, she's having this all the time. I mean, she's going through. And the weirdest thing is, this whole awakening stuff was so off her radar. It was not something she thought about at all it just boom hit her like a ton of bricks so that's a, a lot of people's experience because you know what the the world is evolving this planet is changing its frequency as it does we're changing ours as it's releasing uh, i'll call it heavier dense darker energies from the planet from within the planet um some of you might know what I'm referring to about that, right? It has to do with all these crazy things going on right now, and I don't know how much of it you're paying attention to, but we're about to get like full disclosure, not just hopefully with what's outside of what we know to be our world um, in the universe, but also what's been going on here on this planet that's been holding the vibration down and keeping us from really making that expansion, right? That expansion. So that's why it is the Great Awakening on so many levels because old systems are dying and falling away. And as these systems that don't serve us anymore fall away, guess what's happening? We're being filled with more light. That God energy coming in. The Spirit just expanding the love everywhere. And so if you're having any difficulty with all that's what's happening now, and I've been sharing this in the past few videos, really what helps me the most is I just, I imagine I'm just breathing in that pure love and then I'm sending it out to the world, okay? It makes me feel really good. I know, okay, my vibration's high, that assists the planet, right? So you know, in a very small way, you can feel the effect of it within your own system. But as you're doing that, you truly are spreading it out. If you have the intention to spread this pure love energy, this light, this healing energy out to the world, like I like to think of it as like I'm putting a blanket around the world of this beautiful energy, like everywhere, all over it, to all of the people, the everything alive on the planet, just really filling it with this love. Now, okay, I'm just one person, but if I'm doing it, I know other people are doing it. So it's not just one person. As you do that, you're joining in with all those others out there where you don't even know where they are on the planet, but they're doing the same thing too. And just think about that. The expansion and the magnification of that energy. So you just can't go wrong. Just try it for yourself. Breathing in that pure love, sending it out to the world. So um, 
yeah, let's see what develops over this next month. I think it's going to be uh, mm, quite, well, it's, it's very exciting, but it's also in some cases for people who aren't, who don't, aren't aware of a lot of these things, it might feel like the world is crashing because everything you thought you knew is no longer what you thought it was and you feel just shaken and disoriented. So I'll tell you this, do the same thing. Breathe in the light, ask God to help you to make sense of all this or to understand it and ask, how can I, how can I support? So the only way we can support everybody else is by sharing the love, is by lifting people up, is by, you know, just sharing light, light, love. That's what heals everything. So that's all. I'll see you guys on another video. And um, yeah, sending you lots of love and light. Bye.